Alright, this might turn out to be the most boring video ever, I might not even end up posting it. Uh, the full story of how, I, how this video came to be should be posted in the description because at this point I don't necessarily feel like telling it. It's pretty obvious I'm going to be improvising because I'm recording this as I am recording the gameplay footage which is pretty unnerving on its own even without the additional commentary on top of that. Alright. So here's the deal. Right, better turn off the light completely. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I was supposed to be on the other side of the hole. I mean, I've... Oh, crap. Uh, all right, all right. I've... Um, the game actually crashed on me because I was trying out traps and it's pretty difficult to do with this game running. And I think I was supposed to be at the other side of the door, so I have no idea what's gonna happen now. Um, I have already been here. I have picked up, I have picked up most of the things. So um, so everything should be fine. That son of a bitch already came out at me. So um, and I ran away with my lantern out, not turning my, not not, not turning to face at any point. Just 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 going straight for the door. But I need to go back. I need to get, I believe, the last piece of equipment and then I will be headed for the inner sanctum. And I know that as soon as I pick up the last piece of equipment, either, either something horrible is going to happen, something wonderful is going to happen, or nothing at all is going to happen, as it always has been the case. And if anything happens, I have no idea what it's going to be, and I've... Oh boy, I, I'm just stalling this out, aren't I? Right, I must, must solder on if, if, if anything happens, I can just, can just turn, turn back around. Oh Jesus. This is not less scary now that I'm recording. This is just as, just as scary. It may be a little bit laggy. I have no idea. No, it's pretty smooth. Oh crap, I, I don't see anything. No, 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 no. This is the way I'm supposed to be headed. Is that my footsteps? Everything. Most of, the, most of the things are already lit. But I'm going to keep lighting things on my way. Going to keep lighting things. We'll keep lighting things. I'm not going to use up all my lantern oil. It's fine, I've been here already. <laughs> right, these are just the cries. Now I'm going to go down the stairs. Right, right, right. Now down the No, is it already the um, food storage? Alright, I've been here. These are the doors that scared me half to death. Is he on the other side? I don't know. I'm not afraid of him. I'm not afraid. But I'm not afraid of what's on the other side. This is not the place I was looking for. I'm, I'm fucked up. Oh, this is the place I've been looking for. Have I been here already? Am I going in circles? I don't know. Hope not. Sincerely hope not. Right, calm the hell down. Ah! I don't believe I have enough empathy left in me at this point to really be petrified by that. Oh yes, a, 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 a bloody trail leading up here. Oh Jesus. Machine pass. Light a scandal. How many? Alright. A lot of tinder boxes. How do I feel? Slight headache. Uh, light, light it, light it. Alright, 
Calm the fuck down. Calm the fuck down. Relax, 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 relax. Calm. Even if it happens, I can just run away. 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 I can tell him to run, to run away. Right, machine parts, machine parts. I'm looking for machine parts. I'm looking for the um, for the last um, the last uh, the last. What is that? Fuck it. Oh god, oh my, oh my. I hate, I hate, I hate now corridors. Machine parts, relax, just relax, just relax. A note! I love reading notes. If a full set of three rods is unavailable, oh no! There is one rod in the inner study room. Okay, I've been there. Which might work in case the elevator breaks down. I've been there already. Unless it is absolutely necessary, I always use the spare rods in the storage room. <sighs> okay, I already have the mended rod, right? I have, um... Oh, you have got to be kidding me. No, you've got to be kidding me. This is not happening. I had all the rods here, right? No, no, no. I, I had the floor. I have no idea at this point. I thought I had all the rods. Right. If Even if I reach the goddamn monastery without the rods, I can just go back, right? There's nothing to be afraid of. Right, you son of a bitch? I'm not afraid of you. I'm not about to go hiding in a corner. I will just walk out of this place. You son of a bitch! Just fucking leave me alone! Okay. Ow! Ow! Oh god, I cannot face him! Uh, inventory. Just, 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 just relax. Bleeding. You cut some bruises. Just run, just run, just run! I am not afraid. Ah! There's more of them! Freaking more of them! I knew it! I knew there was gonna be more of them! I expected that! Oh no, 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 no! Please, oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no! <sighs> Wait! I have the rods! Fucking Oh no. Fuck off, bitch! I am so not turning around! It's gonna bleed, isn't it? Open the door. He's not behind the door, right? Right. Everything's covered in blood. All right. There's the. There's the. Co Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying. I assure you. A parasol, right? An umbrella. In the desert? They actually went out to the desert? Okay, I swear I... If I... If I not the... Right, I need the three rods. I have the Trinity, the Full Face, Amplitude, the Flow Cycle Rod, the Spell Flow Cycle Rod I got from that room over there. And I, and I, I, now, I now need to enter the Inner Sanctuary, which is right around here. And that's gonna be the end of it, right? I've never been here before. I mean, I have been here for a brief while. There's more of these sons of bitches here. There was, two, there were two of them. Can't believe it. How do I feel? I feel great. What do you mean? Oh, it's locked. I need the key. Of course, I do have the key, but I need to look around first. Yeah, because wandering around in this place is the best thing I can do. 
Right, I already know the elevator is broken. I mean, how could it not be? Nothing is going my way. I don't care if my voice is speaking, I'm using the crap you make because... I'm not about to... Right, it's not working, so I'm about to get a note. Find a way to start the engine and pause the elevator. And I'm, and I'm gonna be like, oh, so I need the key to the machine room, which I have obtained. Oh, man. All right, this is the machine room key. The key reads machine room. I'm gonna unlock this door, enter it. Traveling fast, you can stop us coming in the machine room. and for clears through the broken glasses and grabbed all the sedatives he, he could find. Okay, machine room. It's 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 decently lit. It's not scary at all. Ah, my vision is getting blurry. <laughs> Calm down. It's just a steam, right? It's just a steam because it's a uh, it's a it's a steam powered machine. <laughs> it's just just a steam. Uh, uh, look at all this machinery. Nothing creepy about it. And if anything creepy about it, does. Uh, Ooh, a note! I love reading notes! 5th of July, 1839. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. No, 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 wait a minute. I, I mean, I know what's going on, right? I know the history of the, of the geologists and all that, and he assembled the orb. But who has the orb? Well, I don't seem to have the orb, so I guess the orb has fallen into the hands of Alexander, and they went out into the desert, which also doesn't bode well. What about the soapstone? Ah, fuck it. What is this? I am not afraid. Adequa... Adequatia. Adequatia pressus. Oh, this steam is getting to my head. My head is pounding, my hands are shaking. Tinderbox. Tinderbox. I'm calm, I'm calm, as long as I stand here and meander around, nothing is going to happen. The adequate pressure is 5-5, five, five, if I remember correctly. The numbers are arranged strangely. I need to take a look at my notes, right? Elevator machine instructions. And if the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before traveling into the machine. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure. No, it's 8-8. Eight, eight. Inside the chamber, the meters should read out up 8 and down 8. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. <laughs> Machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. Okay, so I don't think I need to press anything until the rods are inserted. Even though 8-8 eight, eight has to be set... What? That's three, three, five, one, two, four, one, five, six, five, two. What happens if I press a button? You're kidding me. I don't like the steamy atmosphere in here. I don't want to have anything to do with it also, with any sort of falls or cranks, but um, 
Let's go and sell my rod. It's just, just, just the steam. Just the steam. Just the steam. It's just the steam. Right, I can go here. Or I can go down. Let's go here. Ah, it's empty! Nobody here waiting for me. Right, nobody waiting here to kill me. Oh, oh is that great? A sprocket. And the boxes. Come to me, my beloved. Oh boy. <laughs> Tractic fluxus. Fluxus. Alright. Note that there are only two spare rods left in the storage. I know that already. I went on the, the in first order. I first went into the machinery room and then I went here. So I guess this. So I guess this place would be less scary. <sighs> well, that's um, reassuring. Wait, when I when I saw that, wait, maybe that wasn't the second monster, but the first monster appearing before me, and I should have turned around and and, I, and ran in the opposite direction just to just to get away from him, and then. Run in circles for a bit and then run, run, run back instead of running past him. Perhaps that's why I died. We don't. All right, the, the spare rods. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study room in case all three would crack again. All right, all three rods are ready. Oh, and by the way, I've realized I have pretty much no way of getting out of here, right? I mean. There's no getting out through the windows. We are we are, we are too high above above anything, and um, and the gate is shut after I, I I got past the water part, as everyone calls it. And as soon as I go down uh, using the elevator, I I may not even be able to to, to get back using the elevator, much less get out. Even if I do manage to get back using the elevator, where should I go? There, there, there's, there's, there's no way back. Okay, in case all three should... In case all three would crack. Wait, I know what this is! But why is the... Why is there some... There's some other place to visit. And I know... I might as well do it now, right? Why the fuck not? And I'm not afraid to do so, huh? Right? I'm, I'm going here. Nothing scary, right? Nothing to be afraid of. Everything is fine. It's kind of dark. Alright, this... this... Yeah, it won't do anything because the rods are not inserted and all that. Oh bloody hell. I need to find the cogwheels. Relax, Daniel. Everything is absolutely fine. You know where that cog is. You've, you've been through the worst of it. Now you just have to assemble the machinery. Look, here's a cog. You have to put it in place. Don't let the steamy L get to you. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is absolutely fine. There's no need to be afraid. Everything is fine. Everything is absolutely fine. I can't hold my lantern out with the cog in my hand. Oh, look! A piece of paper. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. 
come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. All right, wait a minute. Wasn't, wasn't he the guy researching the Wilhelm case, right? Wasn't he? Wasn't it all by accident that he managed to come across Alexander of Brennensburg as a possible lead? No, perhaps he had both in mind. God damn it, I have no oil left. My lantern is running dangerously low. I'll, I'll just stop using the lantern for a while. I have to place the cog and then visit that room. I. I have no idea what's in it, but I'm gonna visit it anyway. Come on, cog. The fuck do you mean it does not fit into this? Wait a minute, it, I got the message that it doesn't seem to fit in this, right? So, how can I... Am I going insane or was the message that it doesn't seem to fit? Or was it that it does? Right, let's let's just let's just read it though. It's just the steam. Look, there's a lot of steam here, right? It's the steam. It's 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 freaking natural, it's nothing to be afraid of. There's a cog here. I will pick it up, bring it down there and place it with the rest of the machinery. It's the steam. Just the steam. I cannot hold my lantern out. I can't even afford to hold my lantern out. Okay, nothing in here, right? I don't see anything. I'm safe. Ah. Oh god. <laughs> oh, that's fucking beautiful. No, come back. <laughs> okay, I placed it. I placed it in the spot. I guess the missing cog would be. Yeah. Fuck you, doll! Eat shit. I'm gonna fit the last missing cog and then I'm placed, gonna place the rods and I'm gonna adjust the pressure and nothing bad is gonna happen. Right, the cogs are in place. Should be fine now, right? I'll, I perhaps will have to light a fire at some point. The machinery needs more work before it will run. I know that. I'm just doing stupid shit and hoping. Oh, hey, look. I will have to throw something inside here. What is this place? Man, Daniel, there's no reason to be afraid, right? I shouldn't be using my lantern. Oh! Shut up! Shut up! It's just a steam! 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 Did I just... It's just a steam. It's just a steam. It's just a steam. It's just it's just a steam. Is that coal? Right, right? It's coal, right? And I will have to throw some coal into this machinery because um you know I need to light it to to make to make to make steam. <sighs> but first I need to insert the rods. And then I will have to 
Okay, memento, finally start the engine. Find a way to start the engine, right, right. And when I start the engine, everything is gonna be fine, and I'll, I'll, I'll be as calm, I'll be as cool as a cucumber. Right, the rods, all in different shapes and sizes, right? The flow cycle rod. Right! How many combinations? Well, three slots, ten mutations. How many combinations? Like, no, no, that's not the right way of thinking about it. Make sure the flow is, uh, is set according to the following chart. Trinity Steam Set Functions. Full phase amplitude and complete steel flow cycle. It's like blue, pink, and white. I can switch them around, but I'm not sure if I will get some sort of... Alright, blue... Blue, pink, white is what I'm going for, but let's check blue... Well, blue, yellow... All perhaps yellow, pink, blue, all yellow, blue, pink. All right. There's a hole in here, but at least it's working, right? It's, it's very visibly working. Now I need to set the steam levels, or do I need to fill the coal hole? No, this is the back hole, this is the, this is the exit. The adequate pressure is 8. Both up and down. So what, am I supposed to combine numbers so that I get 8 both up and down, so that's like basic addition in Roman numerals. Hey, I can do that. It's like 5 plus some um, 1 and 2, which is 8. And then I could add 5 plus 1 and 2, which is also 8. The flow is even and stable. Basic addition. In Roman numerals. Thank God I'm a historian. Thank God the British Academy of um, the British, whatever, my British University. Oh, bloody hell, British University. It's primary school knowledge. Right, the rods are inserted, the steam is released, and. Um, with adequate pressure, both up and down, whatever that is supposed to mean. Steam is everywhere, everything seems to be working just fine. And I'm totally not afraid, right? I'm, I'm totally, totally cool with this. I'm going to pull some levers now. Or levers. Lever. There is nothing to be in the burner for it to ignite. I need some coal, and I know where the coal is. Can I pick a shovel and use it, or do I have to pick the coal up with my bare hands? If anything jumps out at me, I swear to God, I'm gonna stab it with the shovel. Both in the game and in real life. Wait, I don't have the shovel in real life. Well, that's just peachy. 
I'm not going to stab anything, I'm not holding the shovel any longer, haha. -ha. I'm going to put as much coal as I can into that burner. <laughs> because, you know, once this stops running, I'm fucked! And if it doesn't stop running, then maybe, just maybe, I will be able to get back. And die above, and die slightly further above ground. Let's throw some coal inside. How much? Oh, do I have? It's in. It's full. Some. Oh, I have. The burner is now full of coal. Well, you know, you know what they say. God damn it, Daniel! No, no, Daniel, calm down. Daniel, no, 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 no. Calm down. Calm down. Everything is fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't stress out, man. You don't need to add more coal. I know that. Just pull the lever. It's gonna burn. Relax, Daniel. Everything is fine. It's better than ever. And now pull the other lever. Yes! I am such a fucking badass. No mementos and I feel fine. My mind is crystal clear. Now. Let's get the fuck out of here and into the inner sanctum. Oh god. I am getting out of this room. Ow! The wound is bleeding. Laudanum! Kill cuts and bruises. Run! Ow! Get the fuck out of here! This was the bottom of us against the etchings and counter. Nine different kings from Oliva have been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. Okay, the elevator should be running. I should be able to get into the inner sanctum now. Right? What? No. Oh god, please no. No, no, no. Relax. Inner sanctum. Inner sanctum. Just go! Let's go. Close the door. I'm gonna be in something that is securely locked. What if something gets inside? No! You told yourself not to be afraid. Do not be afraid. That's me. There's no way for I'm, I've seen this already. Terrible shadows. So William Smith. Wasn't that the geologist? I don't even remember who that was. Alright, relax. Relax, you're just in a you're in a fucking elevator. Everything is fine. Relax, please calm down, please calm down, please. Do don't be afraid. <laughs> I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid. And even if I was, there would be no fucking thing for me to do. There's no getting out of it. He knew it was a... He's been permitted by Cloven State. Fuck you, Alexander! I broke your stupid lift! Come on, get up! Get up, Daniel! You need to find that son of a bitch! You need to get rid of him. Ah! Come this way. What was that? Forgive me, I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. What? This is where criminals are locked up. Criminals, like right? A dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Oh, uh, hold on now. If this is a dungeon and there are well humans here, what is here now? And there were lots of them, right? No mementos. Ah. <sighs> Alright, relax, relax, relax. I'm in the inner sanctum, I just need to find my... What did he do to Daniel? I mean, what, what happened next? I know where it ends, it ends here. This is the now and, and what future holds we will see. 
I know what happened from the very beginning. I read the story and I, I've, uh, and, um, and all that, but I have no idea what happened in the middle. I mean, I know he was led here and that's where all my leads end. Just, just, just remain calm. This is the final stretch. I have plenty of tinder boxes and I'm not afraid to use them. No, I'm not afraid, right? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much not afraid at this point. Who is that? Hello? Oh, great. Everything is falling the hell apart. Do I even want to get to the other side? I mean, I have no idea what the hell awaits me there. What, is, what does this door even lead to? Perhaps I should have a look before I completely unbar it. What if there are those things out there? There's... there's... Well... There is no other way. Right, Daniel. You've had your chance. And this was your last try, wasn't it? I can't help you! I'm barely able to help myself! Try my fucking darnest! Stop screaming! Why are the why why are the, these marks everywhere? Is this even No, the these are rose petals. Okay, it's dark as hell. I'm using my fucking lantern. This is it. Oh, oh, oh. All right, I'm going forward. I'm not going backwards. Is this a memory? He locked me in, right? He tortured me and I got away somehow, right? Oh, oh, oh. All right, you're right, you're right. How do I feel? I have a slight headache, I have a slight headache, I have a slight headache, a slight one. Left or, uh, I mean, I am going right. Tinder boxes, how many of them? Seven, right? That's a lot. Rocks everywhere, more tinder boxes. I love tinder boxes. Tinder boxes are my friends. In this gruesome place. Tinder boxes. Chell! Hello, Chell! Oh, man. It's like my companion Chell from the very beginning of the game. I used to carry it around most of the early levels until I left it at some point. Whoa. So I have a chair, uh, right? These are stocks or whatever. There were just some spell tinder boxes here. Not much to see. If they are still alive, I am fucking going to... Don't go. Oh god, oh god, go towards the light. Do go towards the light. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna... I'm gonna fucking die, I don't care. Yeah, right, right, because closing yourself off in a room is the best thing you can fucking think of. Turn off the fucking lantern. Maybe it'll miss me. If I hide. Can't it like 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 appear anywhere, right? Like go through walls or teleport or stuff. Eventually, I'm gonna have to get out of it, out of this room, right? I, I I might as well. Where did the light go? There was light outside. I could barricade myself in, but that would be pointless. 
Fuck it, if I'm gonna die, I'm just gonna die, right? Oh, this was the light, man. I'm gonna fucking find Alexander and make him pay for all this! And I don't fucking care! <laughs> Come out, bitch! No way in. Come on, relax. Relax, man. It's right behind me, isn't it? Can I... I don't know. Use the drill? Can I use the... Can I use the needle? I wanna get in there! I don't, I don't want to get in though. I do, I do want to get in though. That son of a bitch is gone, so I'm gonna use the hammer. What do you mean it cannot be used this way? Of course it can. Alright, I can hit this son of a bitch with a hammer. Now, is this the correct way of using a hammer? Right? Hitting this piece of shit on the head? Is, is, is this what I'm supposed to do? Hello? Come here, you son of a bitch. I have a hammer and I'm not afraid to use it. Who am I kidding? I am definitely afraid to do anything. Hey, screw the hammer. Pick up the lantern. Oil. I am going to keep running until I find something of interest. I hope this room is... Where is she? Where did she go? <laughs> no. Oh, tell. I'll never tell you. You're just making things worse. Look, this is no place for a young girl all by herself. She could be hurt, or worse. There's no telling what horrors await down there. Wait a minute, I know who he's talking about, right? The girl from the story who ran to the, um... She ran to the... The, the horse carriage, hoping... Hoping it would be her salvation. I have a hammer and a chipper. I can... I can... I can get through the door now. This is it, right? This is it. This is pretty much fucking it. It's locked. However, this rock is very corroded. One of the locked prison cells has a weak lock. Okay, perhaps I need to get in the... I mean, destroy the lock with the chisel and the hammer, and then get the key from inside there. Just light the lantern and proceed onwards. Perhaps there's something of interest here. Perhaps not. All right, combine the hammer and chisel to form hammer chisel. I feel better now. Use the hammer and chipper. Uh, all right, hammer and chipper. It's not a chisel, it's a chipper. Hammer and chipper on the lock. Alas. This is not the Halloween video, by the way. Totally. A few drops of oil, that's great. Well, it's just great that I am here. There's very... It's quite a, quite a bit of useful things here. Right, wait a wait a goddamn minute! I can no, I can't. Right, my first thing, like my, my first thought was that hey, if anything scares me, I can just run all the way back to the previous level. Oh wait, 
I cannot. The elevator is broken. I can only run as far. Not any further. And that's pointless. I can keep running away, but that, that, that's, that's it. I have a bit more lantern oil. Not very many bombs or rope. Not very many bombs, no rope at all. Uh, let's open the prison doors. And if the thing finds me here, I'm screwed! Oh, look. Lamp oil. I mean lantern oil. Hello rats! How are you? I'm feeling pretty well myself. Because, you know, I'm not afraid. Not as much, anyway. But, Mother, I don't want to leave without you. Hurry, child. You must go. Find Gabriel, the Outrider, and tell him to alert the King's men. <coughs> no! You come too! Please, we don't have time to make the hole any wider. Someone's coming. Hurry! I'll cover the hole with the bed. Everything will be fine. I promise you. You know what? I can... I can end all of this. I can just get the fuck out of here. This is not the exit. Oh boy! Okay guys, listen, I should probably visit the other places first. I have a means of escape. Alright, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm ever chased, I'm gonna fucking go here. And just, 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 just cram. Should check that, that door I wanted to get through. Calm down, calm down. Right now, don't get lost. How do I feel? My head is pounding. Yeah, yeah, it always is. Fuck. Alright, ahead and to the right is the exit. Ahead and to the left and to the left and down the stairs and to the right and to the right and fall down the corridor, out the doors. My lantern oil is... Hey, I've been here, right? This is the place I wanted to get to. Ah, <laughs> these are the things. The, 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 the things. Search for another way around the bad gate. Yes, because I really want to get down. Now, don't I? This is exactly the sort of place I want to get into. Okay, I've lost my... No, 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 no. To the right. That's the way out. All right. Lantern oil. Yes! More lantern oil. Now, if only I could... Like, why am I using the lantern so much? Why am I being such a wuss? I could just walk around in darkness. <laughs> now I'm lost. Am I walking in circles? I am, right? This is the barrel with oil. I mean, without oil. Wait, if this is the... Then this should be... The way down. Alright, I know where to go now. So the only place I can go to right now... Which is a fucking checkpoint, by the way. Which is not what I should be thinking in the horror game. But it is what I'm thinking, it's a goddamn checkpoint. The hole is... What the fuck do you... I can make it wider. There's a hole in the ground, but it's too small. Well, too bad! You're going through, I'm not finding another way, Gabe. Um, 
Daniel. Just use that hammer and chipper and chip, chip, chip. Ah, yes! I feel the power within me. I feel... I feel fine. I just figured something out for myself. Let's go down the hall. My son flickered between the pine trees. It's a catch approach to the castle. A faint memory of fiction in the window pane repeated itself over and over. All right, 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 right. Where am I? Why is it not dark here? Wait, is the recording still going? Yes, it is. I should have plenty of memory. I have no idea what, what time it is. Oh, look, it's the hole. All right, it's the tunnel. Wait a minute, so, so they dug a tunnel? Wait, that makes no sense at all. I mean, if the tunnel... If they dug, if, 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 if the woman and the girl dug the tunnel and she, she said that it's, that the passage is too narrow for both of them to go through, how the hell am I able to go through? And second of all, how the hell, um, why couldn't they just, just, just chip away the, the, the very entrance? Otherwise, this must have been, it's an old castle. I guess they discovered a way under the bed. Wait, that doesn't make any sense either. Who made the hole in the first place? A child prisoner back in the day? What, what, why did he make it wider on the other side? Were they tunneling from, like, where I'm going to, to back where I... You know, that makes a whole lot of sense. All right, I get it now. Right, they tunneled all the way, and they couldn't get through the last, the last final bit. And the girl ran away past the corridors I went through, up the elevator, and out of the goddamn place. Although, if her name is Pauline, she might be screwed either way. Oh, fuck! Pardon the language, people, but... This is certainly a stressful situation. Well, it's not stressful, though. I feel fine. I can go left or right. Most people in the circumstances would go left, right? So let's go fucking right. What if most people would go right? Ah. Okay, 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 I'm going left now, I'm going left. I know I can move these rocks, but as, as long as they are there, I'm relatively safe, right? You bastards! All right, if most people go left and they go left first, see that it's blocked and then go right. The people who go right first will go right, most likely make a passage and then forget about the left way. Thinking this as, oh, I wonder what would have happened if I went left instead of right. Why were there even two ways to begin with? You're not making a goddamn... I'm just trying to get the hell out. I'm so afraid. Wait a minute, let's let me assess the situation right now. So if I remove these rocks If I make a noise by removing these rocks and something jumps out at me. There is no going back once again, right? No going back. I cannot run back to this hole. They would just, they would just ambush me, and there would be no going around them. I guess the uh, the logical thing to do would be to get the hell out of here. I mean, the hell out of this hole as soon as I can. So, screw you, rock. Screw you, rug. Screw you, barrel. I am getting out. And if there are these monsters here, well, I guess this simply isn't my lucky day. Why am I crawling? Should I go up or down? I, I mean, I suspect the other way would be... Oh, bloody hell. Why am I British all of a sudden? I have become Daniel. Alright, turning back at this point would be just silly, so let me approach this doll with great care. 
Hello doll, nice to see you. Where do I run? I guess anyway would be fine, right? I don't know this place. Hello. Hi. No, I should be quiet, right? Ooh, a note! 2nd of August, 1839. What? I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Mühle, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. Wait, there's something not right here. What about Haunted Part 3? I missed a goddamn note. Or perhaps I should have went the other way and this is another set of notes and note number three would be through another doorway. I think this is there's some food here. This place seems There's even a goddamn fire here. I, I sincerely Ow! What am I fucking stupid? God, what am I doing? Am I going to touch the fire? Should I piss on the fire? Uh, why would I put the fire out? You know, let, let's have a look around this room. Just for a few moments, alright? I'm kinda safe here. Kinda. Barely. Maybe. Am I safe here? Am I safe anywhere? Will I ever be safe? I don't know. Lord, man. Screw you, bottle. Do I even want to know what this is? It's some sort of acid. All right, I've learned something. There's a barrel filled with acid in the kitchen. All right, I need to piss on the file, take the pot out and put the acid in the pot to... No, it's, it's a steel pot. The acid is just gonna burn right through it. I need something made of crystal or, or glass. As far as I know. A barrel of acid might come in handy at some point. I have quite a bit of lantern oil. All right, yes. remain calm. When was the last time I have seen these things? Okay, not not a long while ago, and they were kind of around here, right? And it... You son of a bitch! Oh god! Okay, this isn't going well at all. What is this? Where am I? What? The padlock is in excellent condition. Hello, what's on the other side of the door? It won't budge. You know? Perhaps that's for the best. Oh no, this is the other side of the padlock. I am such a fucking idiot! I have a I have a barrel full of acid around there, alright? And the thing was chasing me. 
uh, the smart thing to do would be to go into the room, not run past him, go into the room, then close the door to buy myself more time, get next to the barrel and overturn the barrel. Right, then the whole floor will be covered in acid. That's a brilliant idea. Jolly good, man. Jolly good. Ah, that, this way to the kitchen. You know what? I'm going to test my fucking theory. I've died once, I'm not afraid to die again. So it's just, I close the fucking door. Do I still have the memento? Yes, there's a barrel filled with acid. And I all have to die. Oh, barrel. Should I touch it again? Will I be an idiot again and touch the acid instead of touching the barrel? I guess so. Right, Daniel, don't touch the acid. Acid burns. And do not close the fucking door behind you. Alright? Keep the doors open. Why the fuck did I start over there? It makes no goddamn sense. None at all. Where's the goddamn hollow I crawled out of? Literally. Oh, here's the hole. So, um. Oh boy. Right, right, I have a slight headache. Storage. I love storage areas. Well, if one of these sons of bitches starts to run after me. I ruined all, all of the suspense by just dying there. It would have been a lot more of an emotional roller coaster had I. I'm low on Tinder boxes. What? Can't hear you. Speak up, man. Where are you? There's, there's, there's an accent. But how? All I know. Okay, listen to this crazy theory, guys. The castle is high up in the mountains, right? In the defensive position. When I was all the way up there, and, and I went out on, uh, on the windowsill on the, on, the, on the outside, right? Uh, I, I was so high above the trees. But, but, but now that I went all the way down the elevator, I'm, well, I'm, I'm roughly at ground level. Not all that low. So if I can only get get up there, I, I will be able to flee this place at some point. This gives me some hope for the future. Okay, I went through here. Cell area free. Oh, that's great. Oh, right. And I'm running out of oil. Storage. I don't want your goddamn storage areas. What is the alternative? Perhaps I do want those storage areas after all. I don't know. I'm afraid. I'm not afraid. Oh look, I still well. Jack to do. Sooner we'll be ready. Let there be enough time. You should have lit a torch to mark my way. Oh no, I'm not. Oh hell, I'm not. I get it, I was imprisoned. Got out. Got to safety. Drank some potion. All right. So that way is to the, Am I going in circles again? 
All right, that way is to the kitchen. No, that way is to the storage area, you fucking moron. I did not want to go to the storage area. I did not want to light the torch. Here, I'm using my last Tyndall box. This is the light to guide my way. I can either go to the storage area, back to the kitchen. Back to the kitchen, really. I can either go to the storage area, back to the kitchen, or I can go left. I will go left. Okay, I went left and I can go left or I can go ahead. I will go left again. Now left first. Depth first. No, I'm a breath first search algorithm. Um, hi. Sorry. Sorry, man. There's nothing I can do for you now. At least you're not one of those things. I hope you will not turn into one of those things. Is that a book? Oh. Right. Did that guy actually have a book crammed up? No! It wasn't my fault! I know! Why did he have to go in there? Don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. This was my cell. I have no idea how I got out. I hope. I'll be able to do it again. Did I break the, the elevator on purpose just so they would not be able to follow me? Is instantly. They have another tin in the box. Yes, two of them. Alright, let's light some fires. One of them sons of bitches come at me again. A note! Perhaps this is August 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. He was running out of human uh, uh, sacrifices or human uh, vessels. Right, we got it just in time. I have Brennenberg 1 and 2. I'm fairly certain I missed Haunted number 3. I need to find that goddamn entry. I mean, it's gonna... Well, I was about to say that it was gonna torment me if I didn't, but... You know what? Not finding a single journal entry, not that big of a deal. Being shackled in such a room. 
Big deal. Oof. Oh god, no! Oh, son of a bitch! You know what? I am dead. I am dead as, 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 as a guy can be. What am I supposed to do? Use the, use the, use the hollow needle or the, or the drill or whatever? Do they even... There are, there are no places to run to! This is a narrow corridor for fuck's sake! I can't even hope to run past it. You will hit me once and I will be dead! There's no fucking thing for me to do! I'm screwed! I'm dead! If he comes in here, I will try to sidestep him. I will lose Lord on the fly and I will try to outrun him, but I'm... I think I'm screwed. Please don't find me. Please don't. I will have to go past him at some point. I hate this place. Now where is that son of a bitch? Is he gone? Does he dematerialize if I do not see him for long enough? Is he still there? Will he break the door down or will he not? Should I barricade myself or should I get out? Should I run away? Should I use the lantern to see what, what the hell is going on or try to scare him with the light? Or should I turn... Uh, should I try not to use the lantern so as not to lure him in with the... Lantern... Light... Well, this is quite a predicament. If I do use the lantern, I will lure him in. If I do not, if I do not use the lantern, I will never know when I am safe to leave and run past him. Well, what do I do? I can either turn the lantern on and hope he doesn't notice, or open the door up and try to run, hoping he's at the right place. You know what? I think I'll do both. Otherwise, I'm fucking dead. Uh huh. Are you fucking the. Uh... No? Uh. Huh. Uh. Up all night and got lucky. Perhaps I should go into the kitchen. I will probably the have. It's close now. What shadow? Left or ahead? All right, this time ahead. This is the place I. Oh fuck! Oh, sure, there's there's another one over there. All right, so I want to. If I, if I want to go back, I go through the way with one lantern in front of me lit and one lantern behind it unlit, not the path with two lit lanterns. And if one of the servants, things, creatures, monsters, be, am I going in circles? Oh, please tell me I'm not. If I want to go back, I go that way, right? Here is the light, the hall with the light, a landmark for me to can remember. Because that's how I memorize things, how women usually do, right? By landmarks, not by geographical, not by cardinal directions and by lengths, but by landmarks. Whatever, there's a chair next to a cell. Left or forward? Forward. Do not get yourself confused. Okay, there's a goddamn lantern here. You know, I've heard that they had a problem with testers in Half-Life or something. Storage. What? Am I am going inside. <laughs> they had a problem with... with Half-Life testers, when, who when offered a path to go left and right, went left and then reached the same place 
and went left again because they wanted to do all the left turns first before doing any right turns. The problem is that the, the room looped on itself. <laughs> I'm doing the same goddamn thing. Storage is to the, to the right. I thought to myself, no, I don't want to go to the storage room. I want to go here to the room with the light. And then I went here and then I went... I've never seen... I've seen this chair before. No, I want to sit in this chair, actually, and calm down for a bit. Alright, so I can either go to the goddamn storage area to the right, or I can go to hell. Like, two options. What do you mean, kitchen to the left? I think going down the stairwell will be the, the, one, of the, one of the last things I... Storage. What? Hello! Where's the kitchen? Back to the kitchen. Oh, bloody hell no. Oh, hell no. Am I going the right way? I don't know. I don't remember. I'm not. I'm running in fucking circles. Okay, this is the way I have not... Mementos. The gate leading is uh, locked by one padlock. Okay, I can break through it. Do I want to, though? All right, let's imagine a scenario, a possible scenario, right? These sons of bitches go after me. What do I do? I run. I reach a gate with a padlock on it that I have to destroy first. It's better to have open pathways when dealing with things I can outrun but cannot outfight. The padlock won't break, it needs to be weakened further. The drill is too weak for this kind of weapon. Well, what the hell should I do? It's in very weak condition. Need to be weakened. I'm gonna hit it with a chair. Wait, oh no way, is this the light again? The same light? Or is it, is, is it a different? A different one. Is this the same torch? Yes! Hold on a second. I have a very poor sense of direction. Uh, all right, to the right. If I go right, I can go on in circles. If I go forward, I will reach the, the door with the one padlock. The only place I can go. <laughs> well, that makes the decision fairly simple, doesn't it? Pick up the chair. Can I fend off these things with a chair? I don't think so. I've never tried, but I don't think so. I've read the... God damn lock! What you fucking break? Screw you, lock! Have I weakened it? Five with a middle padlock and uh, it's very poor condition. <sighs> acid. I need the acid from the kitchen. Back to the kitchen. Hey, you! Stop! Don't come any closer. I just want to leave. You can't go outside. It's too dangerous! I'm telling Gabriel! I doubt that very much. <laughs> you know... I think I have survivor's guilt. Was it that we both ran away at the same time and the little cow got caught? But not me? Am I alive because of her failed attempt at escape? Alright, I can keep going in circles. I've seen this! I've been here! Oh, 
Or have I? Oh god! I have not seen this! I have not been here! I don't know where I am! I am afraid! No, I am not afraid! I am not afraid! I am not afraid! If I open this door... It won't battle, thank god! No, 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 no! What the fuck do I do now? I'm dead, aren't I? I'm so fucking dead! Lord no, all is good. My health is fine, and now, alright, I can run past this motherfucker once, and only once. Afterwards, afterwards, I'm screwed. So I have to go to the kitchen. Can I hide from him? Is this how it's gonna go? Leave me alone! Ah! <laughs> oh god! No! 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 No, you're, you're so not getting me! Fuck you! Fuck you! No! Oh god! Lord them, Lord them, Lord them. The one is bleeding quite badly. Lord them. All right, right, right. To the kitchen. Kitchen. The, the kitchen was to the right, right, right. If I make a single fucking mistake, I'm dead. I made a single fucking mistake and I may just be alive. You know there's an alternative, he might... Hiding, yeah, that's right. I can run, but I can also hide. Hide like the little coward I am. I could take a break and uh, finish this stuff, to, but no, this is so not gonna work. I am so not coming back to this moment at a later date. Oh boy. Alright, I'm going to open the- I've been here before, this is the same room I've been to. I'm going to run past him and to the kitchen. Yeah, I've, that's what I've said the first time. Well, is the kitchen. I want to get back to the kitchen. And I don't care if he's here, I'm gonna run past him. I'm not fucking afraid, I'm s I'm screwed. Just tell me where the kitchen is. Yes, thank you. Where is the kitchen? Over there. Over there and down? I don't think that's how it was. No, this is the whole... Yes, the kitchen is through here. Right, it's downstairs and then upstairs. So, when it comes to my mementos, there's a barrel filled with acid and the gate is locked and I need... Okay. I feel safe here in the kitchen. What am I doing? How do I put out fire? This is so not going to work. Not by a mile. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's just beautiful. How about if I put a wooden box on it? 
That should put out the fire, right? Brilliant solution. Why are these boxes here anyway? Barrels. Where's my third note from something? Can I just... No, because Daniel is an idiot. I cannot. I could tip the barrel over, but that would be a very poor decision. I can pick the pig and disintegrate it with acid. Great thinking. Wait a minute. Are these things the same things that I found in the, in the water lip? What is up there? Probably nothing of interest, but... Absolutely nothing of interest. Why is this pot even interactive? Can I fill anything with acid? Like, can I fill the needle with acid? Is that... No. This is not stupid enough to disintegrate the needle with acid. Well, you know, I can block the file this way, so I can pick the path up. Hey, come here, path. Come on, path. I could disintegrate rats. The metal won't hold the acid for very long. Yeah, I figured that out a while ago. I only had a bottle of nothing. The bottleneck is too narrow for the fasting through without spilling the acid, but a glass container is an ideal vessel. Right, but where can I find a glass container? We're in the kitchen for crying out loud. Should be something. It's too narrow. I need something that is wide. Think, Daniel. Something wide and made of glass. Am I missing something that's obvious or missing a place I haven't visited? Oh no, there is another possibility I am not even willing to consider for a moment. Is it that I've left an item behind or perhaps... Um, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Have I left something behind that I am unable to retrieve? Or perhaps I have not even found the item and the fall left it behind by not finding it. So, so. Oh, and I have a knife. Right. I could try to wrestle with the creature, although I don't think that would be a bright idea. A glass container! Let's make some glass! All I need is some... Some high temperature furnace that I can use. Uh, some sand. I am seriously running out of ideas. And I'm running out of courage too. I cannot fill rats with with acid. That's not gonna work. Okay, Daniel, your suggestion was that well it's that goddamn bottle. A glass container would be perfect, right? But not this glass container because it has too narrow of a muzzle. And I would spill the acid. So I need a wide glass container. Where on earth could I find one? Like a glass. You know what? I'm fairly certain even if I went here uh, I wouldn't be able to use the acid on the creep, on the, um, on the creature, on the whatever. 
Oof. You know, this is probably boring as hell, but it's, um... I feel better already. I'm, I'm less stressed. Whew. I'm going in circles, really, and not getting anywhere. I'm fairly certain the glass container is not in this room and I need to find it someplace else. And I should be able to find it because game design. Because otherwise... I, mean, I made some alchemical something, but then I died and I lost it, right? Alright. That's the end of part one. Part two will begin shortly.